Hi lovelies, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna share with you ways to enhance your performance and maximize your potential no matter where you work. And this video is in partnership with EPAS, a producer of business and enterprise oriented audio equipment. So EPAS is a brand all about helping to unleash our potential by perfecting our audio experiences but more than their technology, it's about the impact and positive change that their professional range has on the way we work and connect with others. And that's why I'm really excited to partner with them today to bring you this video. And I hope it inspires and helps guide you towards maximizing your performance and reaching your goals when it comes to your work and studies. And I'll be sharing more about one of my favorite products from EPAS later in this video, so stay tuned. Also, I'll leave a link to their site in the description box down below so you can click it and check it out after this video. I recently read a blog post that was talking about how to work with unbreakable focus and one thing that it said was this, to produce at your peak level you need to work for extended periods with full concentration on a single task free from distraction. Put another way, the type of work that optimizes your performance is deep work. The problem is we are surrounded by distractions and often many distractions are out of our control while those that are still within our control require a lot of self-discipline and self-awareness. We all know that our phones can be a big distraction while we work, and I've talked about other commonly discussed distractions to control for, like unnecessary browsers open, but then there's also a new distraction we're facing. A lot of us are working from home, and this has created more disruptions to account for. Now we're most efficient when we enter a state called flow, and this is a state of optimal experience and the term was founded by a Hungarian American psychologist. And he explained this concept as a state in which people are so involved in an activity that nothing else seems to matter. Concentration is so intense that there is no attention given to problems or anything else. We're able to lose ourselves in the task so that time can become distorted. I've definitely experienced this before and it's such a fantastic feeling to be completely immersed in a task, lose track of time and be at your peak performance and productivity level. You might have noticed hours have passed while you've been working on a task, your homework, a project or even an assignment. This is when we get our best work done and feel our best. If you want to reach and maintain this optimal level of performance while working or studying, then you need to stick to the simple but crucial rule of controlling for distractions and disruptions wherever possible. This way, you're giving yourself the best chance of entering this state of flow. The challenge today is that many businesses work with open floor plans. People are opting for co-working spaces and some of us even enjoy working in cafes to change up our work environment. Many schools and colleges are opting for remote learning and even internships too. Then there's the increasing trend towards allowing people to work remotely, which we are seeing from many companies as well. There are definitely benefits to each, but one main problem we're facing is the added distractions of the people around us, conversations and added background noise that we wouldn't have in traditional learning and working spaces means that these may not be the most easy to concentrate places. This is also something that was highlighted in a recent survey conducted by the team at EPAS that discussed how open plan office environments might be inhibiting people's ability to reach their optimal levels of performance. While I'm temporarily working from home, I can definitely relate to these distractions when working at my casual co-working space. While I love it for the buzzing environment, added social interaction and the ability to separate my work life from personal life, I do need to be mindful of how it may affect my performance at times. Of course, there are other little distractions that can pull me out of a state of flow that I'm aware of too. When I sit down to work, I will never have my phone next to me or in my sight. It'll be on silent. I don't keep unnecessary browsers open and I put my headsets on and listen to relaxing repetitive jazz playlists just to drown out minor background noises while I work. Also, you're much less approachable to others because they act like a little do not disturb sign. The key is to be aware of potential barriers to achieving your maximum performance and potential when working and control for them where possible. 
So these are my new EPOS headsets and I love the noise cancelling feature that effectively cancels out unwanted noise and allows me to stay focused while I'm working. Unlike previous headsets I've had, the noise cancelling technology offers three modes, max, adaptive and off. Max is for maximum noise cancelling if I'm in a noisy place and want to immerse myself in my task. So I tend to use it when I'm in public spaces or it's quite noisy and I need more silence. I think the thing I love most about this feature is that in adaptive mode, the headsets adapt the level of noise cancelling to the ambient noise level all by itself. So you know that sensation of pressure and fatigue that comes with using other noise cancelling headsets? So that's essentially because other headsets don't adapt the level of sound that cancels out the ambient noise. The ambient mode minimizes that fatigue by adapting to the ambient noise levels around you. So it only provides the noise cancelling at a level that is actually required. I'm that kind of person where I can get really caught up on little noises and once I notice them, I fixate on them and they really irritate me. I think that's why I used to always study in silent rooms in the library and with these headsets, if there are people around construction outside, a dripping tap or a hum of an appliance, I don't hear it. Of course, you might encounter distractions throughout the day and it could be in the form of a phone call, a knock at the door, a person interrupting you, but it's all about being able to re-enter this state of optimal performance as quickly as possible and that's where professional tools like these come in handy. Since flow requires concentration so intense that there is no attention left over to focus on what is irrelevant, being able to remove unwanted noises and distractions is key. That way, all that matters is the one thing you're doing right here, right now. I also thought I'd share a helpful hack for managing impulse-driven distractions that pull your attention from the task at hand. And it's important to understand we're conditioned to seek instant or happy hits that come in the forms of texts, likes, comments and follows on social media, or even playing games on our phone or snacking. But we need to exercise self-control and find a way to deal with these impulses. One way to do this is by putting little hurdles in front so it's not as simple as just reaching for our phone to call or text a friend or mindlessly viewing additional sites on your laptop. When you're working remotely, there's no one to keep an eye on you and it's up to you to work efficiently. This added freedom can be amazing, but not necessarily when it comes to getting your work done efficiently. So it does require a greater level of self-control and discipline. You might even like to use your distractions as a form of rewarding yourself. Instead of checking social media whenever you want, or watching videos on YouTube to procrastinate, unless it's one of mine of course, then you could set an alarm and make a note that you can check it and spend time scrolling or watching once you finish your work. Using it as a reward rather than distraction makes it so much sweeter. To help you settle into a productive work state, it can also be really helpful to begin your session with a brief focus exercise. And this can be a five minute long mindfulness meditation where you use an app to allow yourself to become aware of your senses and breathing. Getting in touch with your senses and breathing deeply can help to train your brain to fine tune your concentration and focus. It's just like a warm up routine before a workout, only you're warming up your mind rather than your body, so you can make the transition from scattered focus to single pointed focus. Of course, sometimes getting great work done and being productive isn't just about working solo, but communicating with others to get tasks done. And one problem I've faced is when it's so hard to hear what others are saying on the other line, or they have trouble hearing me, it makes me feel really unprofessional, especially when I have phone interviews and phone meetings or calls about projects I'm working on. So I definitely think the need for better communication tools for work and productive collaboration applies to many people in this day and age, when the general trend for the future seems to be working from anywhere, but we need to stay in touch. In fact, in a recent survey conducted by EPOS, they found that the average audio solution end user loses 29 minutes per week due to poor sound quality on voice calls. So as someone who runs her own business and juggles a lot, I hate the idea of losing or wasting my precious time. And I can imagine that with all the responsibilities some of you have as students, that you really can't afford to spare so much time each week either. With everything going digital and people relying more and more on connecting with others through phone calls and virtual conference calls, good audio is becoming essential for productivity. Even think about being deep in conversation online about an assignment or a group project. 
only for the other person to then say, sorry, can you repeat that? I didn't quite get what you just said for the last minute. It really stops you in your tracks and inhibits that state of flow. That's why I've been relying on the EPUS headsets to make my phone calls a lot smoother because the AI and noise cancelling technology works to give you and the person on the other end of the calls the best experience possible. This way, my meetings are a lot clearer, there's no miscommunication, and we're not wasting time repeating ourselves. So all of these factors are essential for helping us to achieve a state of flow. And I really invite you to try these techniques for creating barriers to your distractions and working productively and let me know how it helps you. Also click the link below to check out the EPOS range to help maximize your productivity and performance while you study and work. Thanks for watching lovelies.